Welcome to First White Farmers News Roundup for December 1st, brought to you today by editorial researcher Nina Whittle. In our top news story, the FDA approved Bristol-Myers Squibb's Emplicity in combination with two other therapies for the treatment of multiple myeloma in treatment-experienced patients. The drug, which was co-developed with AbbVie, is expected to carry a monthly cost of about $10,000. Also featured, Express Scripts will offer a low-cost alternative to Turing Pharmaceuticals Toxoplasmosis Therapy Daraprim, which costs $750 per tablet. The pharmacy benefit manager will cover Imprimis Pharmaceuticals compounded oral formulation of pyrimethamine and leucovorin for $1 per capsule. In other news, Roche licensed rights to develop Upshur Smith Laboratories VAP1 inhibitor for the treatment of inflammatory disease. Upshur Smith's Chief Scientific Officer William Pullman said, This agreement will allow our companies to fully explore the significant and far-reaching potential of this novel VAP1 inhibitor. In addition, a report from members of the U.S. Senate Committee on Finance claims that Gilead Sciences priced Sovaldi and Harvoni with the sole goal of maximizing revenue. Senator Ron Wyden noted Gilead pursued a calculated scheme for pricing and marketing its hepatitis C drug based on one primary goal, maximizing revenue. And finally, Nova Nordisk licensed rights to Zoma's Exmet A program of allosteric monoclonal antibodies in diabetes. Nova Nordisk will pay Zoma an upfront fee of $5 million and additional milestone payments of up to $290 million as well as tiered royalties on product sales. To read these and other stories in full, please visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today. 